I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Return of the Mac was the theme song with the, the ring walk. Man, how'd you enjoy it in early? No, it was good and uh, I did, I enjoyed myself. Uh, there was um, so much built up um, for tonight. It's been a long, long time. So much frustration and um, you could say so, so much just built up. Training camp after training camp after training camp with nothing on the end of it. Um, been through a hell of a lot and I uh, just finally got to, to get in there and and like I just said there, enjoy myself and get back on the road and that's exactly what I've done. I said beforehand I'm going in there and I'm going to do what I need to do and that's get get myself back on track. I could have went in there and tried taking him out and like I said um, in the lead up to this fight, it's not been the smoothest because I, like I've just explained so many so many setbacks and obstacles along the way so I could have went in there and made it real hard, hard for myself. So. I was mature and I said that in my interview with you yesterday. I'm going to go in there and be mature about this and, and come out victorious and, and, and get back on track and that's exactly what I did. So I'm happy and most importantly my coaches are happy and that's what I said yesterday. So um, I'm happy. Well I was going to say that because it seems like you put pressure on yourself to try and make other people happy, yourself happy, your, your coach happy. So you just basically answered my question there. Like ben at the end of that fight, what was his words to you? You said he's happy so I'm guessing he was yeah. chuffed with that performance no well listen I'm getting to the level now and, and I'm, I'm I'm experienced now to know that um, back in my early days like I, I would love to go out there and please the crowd and start letting my hands go and bang 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 looking good and jumping about the ring and that but I'm now going to make experienced guys and I'm looking to push on for big world honours and that and going in there and doing things like that will only get you to a certain level and thankfully I've got I believe um the best coaching team, one of the best coaching teams in the world and some people may disagree, some people may agree but in my eyes um, I have, I believe in it and um, I did what I had to do tonight and we're all happy and that's the most important thing. There probably, there's probably people out there right and they're probably going to be like, what is he doing, what is he doing this and that but time will tell, let's see because I trust me, fast forward 12 to 18 months I'm, I think I'm going to be world champion. Well, let's talk about the opponent tonight, um, I mean I think Ian behind me mentioned it, you mentioned it. He's been in there with Ray Vargas, who's just held, just lost the WBC Super Featherweight title just then. He's been in with Thomas Patrick Ward, two-time world champion Ray Vargas, yeah. So he took uh, Tommy Ward here, who's up uh, at Featherweight as well, the distance as well. So tough opponent for your comeback fight after 13 months out of the ring and a brand new weight. Exactly. Um, and again, this is what I mean. It's like my, I've said it time and time again, my own success is sometimes my... My, okay, my, my downfall a little bit because the high expectations are so high mm. all the time because of how successful I've been in such a short space of time. I've, people need to remember that was my 12th fight, 26 year old, 13 months in activity. Give me another few fights and um, the, trust me, I'm just, I don't want to start speaking and saying this and that. Listen, it wasn't a perfect performance, by no means getting clipped, complacency a little bit, rusty. But that's what happens when you've been at the ring for 13 months and you've had four back-to-back -back camps with cancelled dates right at the last minute, boiling down to weights for so long and all sorts of things. And I feel like I'm just just getting back to myself now. I only, and I said again, um, I come back to Ben's Christmas and I could have broke down, just felt like I'd lost everything, just felt so deflated, so drained, I uh, felt like I'd lost everything. And... Um, I stuck by it. I stuck by it. I kept grinding through. I didn't. I, honestly, I was so unhappy. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go and say depressed, but pff, no far off it. Mm. And I just kept on. Why? Why have I gotten into this? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? And these are the nights exactly why I pushed through. My whole life has been challenging, and I've pushed through time and time again. And I believe this is the beginning and the end of the bad luck for me. So. Roll on the good times. Let's roll on the good times. And obviously, we, 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 I know the hardships, what you've been through. I know what you've, uh, the thing. And so I want to look at the positives. And that you mentioned, twelve to eighteen months, you're going to be a world champion. Now, I keep saying to you when you're at the bantamweight division, I was like, your size could be a problem with Anui and all this sort of stuff. And now Anui's moved up to super bantamweight. You've came up to super bantamweight as well. Stevie Fulton's there. It's a tough old division. This super bantamweight division, bigger guys as well. So. For you to, be get, to fulfil your dream, like I said to you the other day, that for you to fulfil your dream and become that world champion, it's no easy task. 
No, definitely not. But listen, like, I, people, there's so much, I would say, probably a lot more talented lads out there than me. But one thing they've not got is, is that, what I've got in abundance. And I think that is why I will push through. There's no quitting me whatsoever. And um, you can... You can work with that, that's something you can't teach. Um, so I can keep getting better, I can keep perfecting my craft, but you can't teach them tough them tough times. When tough times get, when it gets hard, you need to you need to have that in you, and you've either got it or you've not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please believe me, that's one thing I've certainly got. So um, I'm excited for the future. I want some big fights. Um, that was like, I'm not joking you, like, see, no going into it in that, but like, I don't know why, there's so many things, like I had three hours sleep last night. Uh, I was sent to bed in that before, then no changing room and that, like, I've never felt like this before. Like, I, I'm like, no, just, uh, I, I don't know if it, obviously I was a bit nervous. I did say that, I feel like this is my pro debut again. But there was a lot more, and I, and I can't even explain that, to be honest. So I'm just, I'm just glad to finally fucking, and I've never ever spent on camera, so it just shows you're dehydrated. But um, I think that's all catching up on me now. I need a good night's sleep tonight. A little week's rest, and then back on the back in the gym. And my team, I have to say, fucking big thank you to Lee. He's um, again, he's kept me saying, kept me saying, and said, listen, it's going to work out. It's going to. Lee's kept you saying. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And um, now nah, listen, I could have easily done a lot of things what other fighters and that done, and go elsewhere and do this and do that, and even even just give up. But I've worked too hard. I've worked my whole life for this, and um, I'm just glad that I'm glad that I've I pushed through. And uh, we've we've said that I've been told that we're we're now um, I'm finally going to get my own show. I think in Scotland, what we all deserve, and I think that's going to be a time castle. Um, that's going to be obviously. My uncle Scott would love that if I get a time castle one for you. That's that's always been the plan and always been a goal of mine, and I think it's very very doable. But I feel like we are still a wee bit away from that. Um, I think May June time. Could maybe even do Meadow Bank now. I don't know if that's no, big enough. We could get a. Listen, I think the Ruiz rematch would be, although I believe. I it's want easy to, to make because he's barely in. So. It's, it's easy to make. Uh, he's just showed there in his last fight. He's certainly um, a very good fighter, and, and we, we've always known that. And um, But I do believe going into that fight with the right mindsets and, uh, and again, fresh and good, Lee McGregor, the. the the Lee McGregor that everybody knows, I believe I get rid of him. And that is a big statement. So I think if we could do that in Scotland next, I think with the inactivity for me, the, the situation we're all in, I think it really does make sense. But again, this, that's not to me, that's up to my team and that. But it's definitely a possibility. And uh, well, let's see, let's see what happens. But I think the plan is to come back to Scotland and, and, and give, give, give myself my own show. And uh, I think we all, we all deserve that. It's going to be a big night in Scotland. I'm a biased jock, and if I have to put pressure on Lee myself, I'll put pressure on Lee myself to get these shows. But Lee's got a show on April 14th, which has made me happy, um, and he, he said that in an interview with me. But um, you, I want you to go and enjoy this night. I want you to go and see your family, your, your girlfriend, I and all your friends, and go to sleep. Well, <laughs> go and sleep then, mate. We're going to go and enjoy what you can, and have a good night's kept, mate. But listen, good to see you again, brother, and good to see you back. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, Cheers Lee. Thank you. I'm gonna say something with you. That might put me in a very negative light. Yeah. Relationships are not my forte. Eh? See if someone grabbed up my wife for saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here, and this has been like a therapy session.